going to talk about beets. Beets, beetroot, it's one of the superfoods uh, which I strongly recommend people to incorporate in their weekly diet. Yeah, I always say them to have three times a day, three times a week, sorry, three times a little bit too much. One cup of beets three times a week is more than enough. It takes care of the liver, pancreas, about your colon, it takes care of the colon health. Really, really good, especially for the colon. People who are having issues with constipation, people who are having issues with gastritis, IBS, people are having issues with the diverticulitis, and people who are having issues with dementia, they're feeling very forgetful. So this is really good. And people, souls who are having issues with blood pressure, this is also very, very good for blood pressure. This is very good uh, ingredient and also the one more major good news about uh, beets is that for me, I see with my experience and with my experience of my guru and everything, I feel it's very good for diabetes too. How diabetes? It's, I, in, in our traditional medicine, Siddha and Ayurveda, we say that you can have beets when the sun is up. So when the sun is up in the lunch time you know, or in the breakfast time, if you can steam it and eat it. The key is they have to steam it or they have to grate it and steam it and eat it, not juice. Because what happens in juice is it directly goes and rushes in. So that may not be a good ideal way to take beets. But you know, I know that beet juice is really good for the skin, blah, 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 etc, etc. But what is best way to take it is like take it, uh, steam it and take it. I know there's a lot of ways of cooking, right? So I am not a juicing person. I don't really encourage people to go for a juice diet and everything because you know, you have to train your body to be in the flow of life. So juice is good, but wholesome is even more beautiful. So I think, you know, being a holistic practitioner, holistic healer, I always say that go for the rawness of life, right? We have to be the flow, no, no complication. You just steam it and you eat it, right? Like uh, like, like the authentic way of eating, right? Sometimes when we chew and eat it, it's like, you know, um, it gives you a satisfaction. When you chew each mouth for 16 times, the maximum nutrients is going to take into the body and also the signal is sent to your brain saying that you are satisfied, you know? So that you tend to eat less and you're, you're full. You have the satisfaction of your, your, your stomach is full. So. 16 times you need to chew one mouth of food. Are we doing that? A big question mark. We have to be very consciously aware about that. Uh, so that is one tip. That's something a very useful tip. And um, this also is very good uh, to eat beets uh, for the skin. It gives you a glow in the skin because it cleanses the body a lot. And to have a natural pigmentation in your lips, you can actually grate and take the juice and mix with the coconut oil and before going in the night just apply in your lips it also takes care of the cracks in the lips it takes care of the filling the, the look uh, making the lips look fuller you know more circular more circulation happens so that is also a natural way of you know beautifying yourself so that is also really really good and this is also very good for um uh, um it's uh, very essential vegetable for stabilizing the emotions when people are going through the process of letting go or ending or uh, putting a closure to uh, anything so beets helps to cleanse the effect when there's a lot of cleansing effect happening in the colon the letting go is more easier so i have seen this in my practice and also i have seen it my uh, when i was staying in my guru space also we always say that to you know incorporate these kind of vegetables and eat uh, and there's a loaded with fiber they loaded really with fiber be mindful if you're taking beets that day please don't take any other fiber supplement because this acid is has got a very uh, uh, strong uh, cleansing effect in it and uh, for other people who are having issues with um, you know um, uh what to say the the stool is not like a snake form you know some people have that um, like a potty form you know like a, like liquid form this is also really good 
it actually helps to solidify and you know in the, it, it's actually an incorporation of diet you know you're, you're, you're strengthening your walls inside you're strengthening your system inside when your gut is strengthened you become strong that is uh, you know that is how physical health helps the mental health so when you need to let go something again it's the mind supporting the physical health so we are working together hand on hand you know so we are always approaching life hand on hand you know i am a strong supporter of uh, blend, blanching the food and eating than taking raw food i have also mentioned my videos before i don't consider we don't consider salad leaf as spinach there's a, that, that's still a difference between them so i am not against having salads you can have salad but when you're going to have a kale salad i may not support it too much because you know there are still it can be too sensitive you know if, you, if your body is a sensitive body it's going to trigger a lot so just be mindful of that you know your body better listen to your body and you know and try to um, incorporate the diet which suits you yeah you're listening to my video yeah but it's your body I am telling out of my experience seeing, seeing many people you know and guiding them for a better strong health when it comes to holistic health it's not about the zero size it's about staying healthy and staying mentally healthy and staying physically healthy and staying emotionally healthy so what all we discuss here is about the holistic health so yeah we do guide them for uh, weight loss and etc etc but then you know what you have to step back and see what you really need sometimes it is not the weight loss you really need it sometimes it's what you really need is letting go you know you have to start listening to yourself start looking inside yourself deeper sometimes if you start holding on to a lot of emotions and a lot of um, uh, things which are done and over when you keep holding a lot you gain weight because you're hanging on to them a lot so your mind status is very important in playing a big role in your physical body one more thing it also regulates the hormone of the pcod hormones you know it's very good for pcod for thyroid it's very good it's basically a bear. i think it's more a woman's best friend i would always say it's a woman's best friend for men it also is very good for people who have got anemic in the men it's very very good and for men's uh, sexual health also it enhances because it takes care of the circulation of the lower body the lower chakras so definitely it is also very good it's also very good for losing uh, tummy fat you know uh, that uh, the holding of water in the tummy can also be lost uh, with this help of this in uh, incorporating this vegetables there are a lot of people saying to have to have vegetables in a raw format you can have them but still what is best is to steam them steam and have them that is the best way of eating and one more thing is that if your acid level is really high in the body nothing is going to help you you know if your ph level is high please 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 put attention to that eating beet in the long run yeah will help you to maintain a of normal pH level that is possible and one more big thing is that people have got bad uh, breath this is very good when they start incorporating beet in your in your diet because it cleanses the blood blood and purifies the blood because of that you are, and it also takes care of the gut right it got it cleans the gut and everything so that that's why your bad breath is there because the gut is not clean so it is all interconnected so always see life in a holistic way and um, and spiritually coming that any vegetable uh, which has got lot of uh, um, fiber and it is packed with a uh, uh, lot of nutrients is good i uh, but this is my favorite i somehow found this like really really good it's very good for grounding too because why grounding because it take care of the bottom three chakras and bottom three chakras take care of the physical body and physical body is really important just for us to burn our karma and you know proceed with our journey further so and how was it good for us in the astral body uh, to have a nice uh, vibrant astral body you need to have a strong roots yes but the astral body is more about the upper chakras and flying and floating and feeling high 
Yes, but if your roots are not strong, trust me, your journey is going to be short. You know, you need to you need to strengthen your roots. It's a reminder to all the healers that root is very, very important. Everybody feels that, you know, that root chakra is only about sexuality and etc, etc. But let me remind you, the Kundalini resides in the root chakra. You know, let's not forget that. So that is a place, that is a secret place where all your good thing is there. Yes, it's in between the sexuality and between the excretive system. But these both are not working in your body. You are in trouble, man. So, you know, always appreciate what we have in us. You know, enjoy, celebrate life. Life is all about celebrating. So, I end this video telling this note that please subscribe my channel. And, you know, please share this video. I know my videos are not like point to point. I don't talk like that. I talk with my, my heart. I'm sharing you from my, what I know from within. There's nothing to do with the notes outside. There's nothing to do with others. I'm talking from within because I'm a healer and I'm a channel and I'm a mystic. I go from the feeling from just come within my heart and I only share you that that's the difference between others and me. And this is like, this will work 110%. And the, uh, the, the beetroot stem and leaf can also be consumed. Yes, the beetroot stem can be just consumed like that, but don't consume them a lot. You know, beat them, stem and leaf. Don't consume them a lot. Have portion control. Yeah, this is a very good food, but then too, you need to eat portion control. So one cup a day is more than enough. And if you eat three times a day, it's really sufficient. And for your children, just give them a small wedges. If they're below five, a small piece, a small wedges. You know, the potato wedges kind, that size. If you can just boil them or, you know, you can just uh, give them um, uh, give them after boiling, it's really better. And one more good news is that when you boil them, boil with the skin. I know many people uh, boil taking off the skin. Don't do that because when you take off the skin, the, it's going to be more seeping out. You know, so just don't do that. So what you can do is that boil with the skin, then allow it to cool down, then take the skin and then cut into wedges and give to your children and you guys also can eat it. There is a lot of simple recipes about beets. Beets is the most economical vegetable available around us. So, you know, like let's try to incorporate it uh, in the food as much as possible. Try to buy fresh vegetables and use them. Don't use the vegetables. I, I wouldn't say don't use them. If you can, try to avoid using vegetables from cans and in freezer bags, you know. Yeah, compared to cans, I think freezer bags are much better, but try, try, try. These things are very economical, you know, like buy vegetables, what will you use weekly, you know, just weekly go buy whatever we're going to cook for this week and you don't have to keep them in the fridge. You can keep them in the countertop. Let's, you know, try to do something which is, you know, healthy for us. So let's, let's try to be incorporate these things in our life. I hope this video helps you. Please comment. Your, uh, your ideas about this video or if you want me to make about something else please leave a message and uh, try to live a simple life simple happy and um, simple happy and joyful life and the key of living is celebration celebrate yourself celebrate your life celebrate your family celebrate this existence celebrate the universe love you all thank you so much